How you doing? I uh, just want to do a quick little video on the Solar A2.6 B stock. All right, this is a B stock. Just got this in. Came all the way from Spain to me in the U.S. I'm in New York State. Got to me in three days. It was forty dollars shipping. Now again, this is a B stock guitar. All right. Now if you look up what B stock is, um, something about the guitar did not meet the standards for it to be sold as brand new in box. All right. I asked uh, Xavier or spoke with Xavier over a couple emails through Solar and said, Hey, I want to buy a B stock. You know, what can I expect? Is it going to have a twisted neck? Is it going to have like you know, a huge scratch across the front of it. And he said, no, no, no. You know, there's going to be nothing playable wrong with it. It'll be a minor finish defect. And, you know, I basically said another one, like, are you sure? And what I was told was we would not intentionally send out a guitar that has a defect. Okay, Ole England himself also said on YouTube, I left him a comment. He responded, which was cool. Thank you for responding, Ola. He said, uh, minor, uh, minor finish flaws. Um, and at first inspection, that was true. I mean, there's like a little teeny scratch you can't even see on the back, little things that you won't even see on camera. When I first put this guitar in my hands, uh, right away, I just knew something didn't feel right with it. All right, uh, not only was the action ungodly high, um, and I've already lowered it down considerably, and it still feels incredibly high to me. Um, I mean, that's just, it's a high action. So I'm going to have to lower that down more. By the way, the fact that the guitar comes with the Allen keys for the action and the truss rod and stuff, that's awesome. I'm into that. It's a beautiful guitar, but it really does not play well at all. And uh, the thing I found, which I'm thinking this is why it's B-stock, I was also told by Xavier that most of the time these are guitars that were returned and are already sent out to a customer. So, I'm thinking it's this right here. Take a good look at that nut. Okay, that nut to string height is way too high. Um, let's see if I can get it. It's way too high. That's the problem. It's making the guitar very difficult to play, and I'll roll in some close-up pictures of the instrument. Um, it makes it difficult to play, you know, the action, it just doesn't feel right. So. B stock guitar, uh, you know, okay, it's a nut, great. You could go to a luthier and have him fix the nut, but dude, come on, man. Um, also, strings rusted out of the box. Uh, let me see if I can show that on camera. So you can see kind of right up here, there's some rust there, and also down the string. I'll roll in close up pictures of that. So, the nut was carved improperly, strings are rusted. Minor imperfection flaws don't give a shit about that at all. I don't care. Even if this had a little chip in the paint, I probably wouldn't give a shit. But the nut not being cut properly, that's big to me because that's something that I can't fix. I mean, I guess I could if I wanted to go buy all the carving tools and learn how to do it and practice on a couple. No, I don't want to do that. But uh, the guitar is really cool. The guitar is really cool. Um, the neck is actually a bit thicker than I was expecting. Uh, ebony fingerboard, uh, not to knock it, but it's not the nicest ebony fingerboard I've ever seen. Um, the ebony fingerboard on this axe over here is much So in blue uh, for the A2.6 and 6 string, you're looking at 650 bucks. Now if you live in the US like me, it's going to be another $45, so it's $700. You're getting mahogany body, which is considered a good wood. I'm not a wood guy. Ebony fingerboard, love that. Grover tuners. You're... Another thing, are these actual Seymour Duncan pickups, or are they Duncan designed? I don't really know. Uh, pickups sound good, so you're getting pretty good pickups. Uh, you know, you're getting all the features at a very cheap price. All right. Uh, normally, guitars with this many features are going to run you a thousand bucks. All right. Here is a Schechter Blackjack SLS. Um, Again, mahogany body, ebony fingerboard, Grover locking tuners, Duncan pickups, and you get this beautiful gloss finish. This guitar is about 800 bucks. All right, 800 for this, 650 for that. Call it 700 after shipping. Um, 
that makes a guitar like this look pretty bad because that axe is a really good deal. But let's take a look at the nut height on something like this. I will tell you right now, this guitar plays much nicer. The price you're paying for this is excellent, and it does feel great. I mean, this back, now it's smooth, and the way this finishes, it feels solid in your hands. And uh, the paint job, the blue, is actually very bright in person. I love this headstock. I mean, I could really get into the details and make this like a mini review, but I'm not gonna, because basically I just wanted to let you know, B-Stock guitar, it's got... It obviously has a flaw that's more than fit and finish that directly affects the playability of the guitar. All right, so um, I'm sure no one meant for that to happen, but I mean, if you're going to test a guitar, especially something that was returned from a customer, you'd think you'd see that. Um, the main way to test for this is you're supposed to go down to the second fret and just in front of it hold the string and then see how much play there is between these two and uh, there's quite a bit of play right there so you know and I'm no luthier I don't know that that's the way it's supposed to be you know I'm not a hundred percent sure that's the problem but it was the first thing I noticed and as soon as you look at it you'll say oh yeah that nuts way too high alright so overall you know it's a really cool axe looks really nice it feels good in the hands but um, and I bought a B-Stock, you know, I saved $150, so, I mean, what was I really to expect? I don't know. From what I was told, it was going to have some, some fit and finish issues, not playability issues. Got some serious playability issues. Uh, the nut was just not well done, in my opinion. Again, I'm not a luthier, but I think if I handed this guitar to anyone and they picked it up and started playing on it, they would realize that it just, it feels difficult to play, and I'm willing to bet that nut is the problem. Um, so, gotta be careful when buying B stock, and there could very well be other things wrong with this. I've only had this guitar in my hands for a couple hours at most. So, but yeah, the shipping was really fast. I super appreciate that. Um, the customer service is good. I like the tools in the bag, as I said. You know, the packaging was pretty good. You know, everything sounds good, except uh, maybe I just got a bad one. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I'm not too happy with it. All right. Thanks very much, Ola. Appreciate it. Everyone, have a good day.